to my fragrance so we'll learn together and grow together oh yeah fragrance show. I am Marshall's Blends Fragrance and today we will be smelling Milano Fragancia. It's actually gonna be day number three. We shall be smelling Derby. Would you like me to read you some information? Would you like me to read you some information about Derby? Let's find out what notes are in Derby. I'd love to tell you what's in Derby, and even who the perfumer is. <laughs> so, Derby is a wonderful new fragrance from Milano Fragancie. All of these fragrances that I'm going to be speaking about from Milano Fragancie are launched in 2021. The nose behind this fragrance is Dominique Mulhausen. Top notes are Galbanum, Yellow Mandarin, Violet Leaf, and Lavender. The middle notes are Indian Mimosa, Tuberose, Ylang Ylang. Base notes are Vetiver, Lucmos, Patchouli, Sandalwood. So this sounds like a fuge to me, which means we can expect a lot of green. So the base has Oak Moss. Oak Moss is traditionally part of the formula for a fuge, fuge, fuge. Galbanum or galbanum is actually a plant that produces a lot of green notes. So it can also be balsamic. For the most part, it's green notes what it produces. So you have green on the top with uh, lavender, traditionally fuge. And then the middle notes, you have Indian mimosa, tuberos, and ylang ylang, which makes it a, uh, what, uh, it's a floral fuge. And then you have the tuberos. So it is definitely floral. It is a fuge. And it has sandalwood and patchouli. Patchouli is very green, so it's a fuge esque. Right? So I'm expecting to get some wood at the dry down, a lot of green at the opening, floral at the heart. So we'll see how, what kind of a fuge it is. You guys know that for me, my base fuge memory is brute or old spice. I'm gonna spray on the arms only because it is a decant, a small decant. I think it's probably two milliliters or 2.5 milliliters. So I will only spray on the arm to be able to get the full effect of it. It's green, it's very verdant, very fern-like. Mm. I'm not gonna say bright, I'm not gonna say clean, I'm gonna say it really is a green fragrance with aromatic tendencies. So it's a green fragrance with aromatic tendencies. I am liking it. It's its own kind of fougé, clearly. We'll hear my, oops. Okay, we'll hear my full thoughts uh, soon enough. So right now it is 11.31. So let's say we started at 11.30. My first, first impressions of this is that it's good. It's very mild. It's not overpowering. It's a good fougé. I feel like this is a fougé that anyone can wear at any time and any age. The opening is not offensive. The opening is not your traditional fougé. Um, it is just a good green fragrance is how I see it. It's a good green fragrance. And again, I'll remind you that when you purchase a discovery set, the price of purchase is applied to the price of the full bottle of one of these uh, that you purchase within 30 days, I believe. 
I am back and Derby is a wonderful green scent definitely made for a spring or summer day it blossoms and performs best in uh, temperatures I would say of 75 or better I was looking at uh, the notes and compared it with Silver Mountain Water and our Moffs uh, Derby Clubhouse Blanche because they smell very similar and what I'm sure gives it that similar Derby-esque energy is the Galbanum. I, I'm pretty sure that is what causes them to have a very similar uh, introduction, right? The opening. Because it'll have that citric opening, it'll have that green opening, there will be some florals, and there's galbanum in all three. Would I say that this is fragdentical? Would I say that this is fragternal to Silver Mountain Water or to Silver Mountain Water's clone Derby Clubhouse Blanche by Armoff? I would say no. What I would say is that if you like those kinds, then you will definitely love Derby by Milano Fragancia because it has the galbanum, it has the sandalwood, it has the opening that is very similar to it, but it develops into something else. What I got to say about the Milano Fragancia is that why it's so different, it's similar in the opening, but that's the only place where it remains totally similar. You keep that whole green uh, fragrance energy from opening too hard to dry down it stays there the whole time it is green at the heart of it the Indian mimosa the tuberose and the ylang ylang enhance a very deep green energy uh, an almost spicy green I have to say and then the dry down itself becomes like I gotta say powdery because of the mix of the vetiver, oak moss, and sandalwood. It creates a powdery green. So for me now, anytime I hear the word derby, I'll be looking for galbanum, I'll be looking for sandalwood, and I'll be looking for some type of a citric opening. Um, and so the, I'm impressed, I like it. This one is not one that I will personally uh, be purchasing. I will give it a solid 25 out of 10. I like it a lot. It will be a very good gift for someone in the spring or in the summer. I feel that it is unisex. Both a man and a woman can wear it, although this is more recognizable on a man. I like it a lot. So the time is now 3.49, 3.50, and it still smells good. It's not projecting as far as in the opening, but it is creating a very nice scent bubble. I like it. So if you're looking for something that is in the green, derby, silver mountain water wheel, but is not identical to it, give it a go. Give it a go. And if you like green fragrances, this is definitely one I would say, get on it. Get on it and get on it and get on it. Goodbye. My lovely fragrance blenders I'll see and smell you soon. Sayonara. Goodbye. Ciao. Ci vediamo. Cheerio! <laughs>